What up peoples? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing around with some routines that we used with a move that I taught you before and I want you to have fun with it. So um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know what to say much. I think I think we should just get to it is what I think. So let's do that. Let's just go. Okay, so before I showed you the Elmsley count or the ghost count as it uh, is the proper, the proper name. <laughs> the proper name. Oh. <coughs> and uh, today I'm gonna show you a quick routine that uses the Elmsley count. It's called Twisting the Aces. It's an old routine that uses the Elmsley count to make cards a flippy dippy one by one. And I, I hope you enjoy it. So let's just get right to it. Okay, so let's use, let's use the four aces here. Why did I spread them like that? <laughs> use the ace of hearts, the ace of diamonds, the ace of spades, the ace of clubs. And we'll use these four aces right here. So there you go, four aces. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, show you how some people like to turn over cards. Some people like to do it like a book. Some people like to do it like a notepad. I'm gonna show you how magicians do it. They just give it a little shake. And that's when the first card, the Ace of Hearts turns up. Uh, if I just give it another little shake, the next card, the Ace of Clubs turns up. Uh, we'll start over. I'll just give it a little shake. And uh, that's when the next card, the Ace of Diamonds, turns up and uh, what I'll do here is let's uh, let's start from the beginning so I'll turn these over and all the cards will start face down of course if I if I just give it a little shake the last card the ace of the spades turns up that's it that is twisting the aces let's show you how to do it so you need the four aces, obviously. <laughs> and uh, I like to put them in a certain order, right? And that's chased. So that's gonna be clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds in that order, just like that. That is chased order, okay? And those go face down into the hand. Now we're gonna do a sequence of moves here. The first move is gonna be a triple lift. Now, don't be scared. There's lots of ways to do this easily. You can either pull down one card with your pinky and then just turn over three, or you could do what I like to do, which is from a small pack. If you're just pushing off everything, you just push off everything. So you push off all three cards and turn them over, and that's it, super simple. So that leaves you in this position. So you've done a triple. Now, I need to turn this top card face down and I don't want them to see that face up card. So I rock my hand up and I say, and then we'll turn it over like a notepad. It's it's dumb patter. I'm not saying this is the best patter guys. Okay, I apologize, but I'm, this is just for you to play around with. Okay, don't kill me, stop it. Anyway, so now we're in this position and we're going to do our first Elmsley count. So as you do that, the heart will show and that's gonna be hiding the club as you count four. You're gonna do the Elmsley count again. By the way, if you haven't learned the Elmsley count, click up here right now to learn it, and that way you can go learn how to do, oh boy, why is that rocking around? Anyway, you can go learn how to do the Elmsley count. Just click right up there right now. Let's do it. All right, so now we're in this position. We're about to do the second Elmsley count. So you count one, two, that shows the club. This time, this top card is going to go underneath. Now, from here, we're going to do a triple lift. That'll clean up this and make another one turn face up. So again, just push off three or get a buckle under one card. And now we're going to count normally. So now we're just gonna peel off one card at a time, like this, showing the face up ace. This card is gonna go on top as we get a break on the top card. And now we turn over the bottom cards onto the 
bottom of the deck so you're just revolving these i like to spread it just to make it look like i'm turning over everything and then i pivot everything down into my hand and again we're going to do our last elmsley count and that's going to be to show or one of our last to show that the card isn't are all in fact face down and now when we do our last elmsley count that brings the last ace face up and that's the end of the routine that's it so I'll run through it one more time. Chased order, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. This is backwards, like this. Okay, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Face down in the hand, you turn over three, you turn over one, you do your Elmsley count, one card is face up. You do your Elmsley count again, to the second card turns face up. You turn over a triple, you count your Elmsley count. Uh, I'm sorry. You don't do an Elmsley count, you just count normally. So that's this. Now you get a break on the top card, you reverse the two cards, turn over, Elmsley count, and then Elmsley count again. And that's it. That gives you the routine, that gives you Twisting the Aces by Davernion. Play with it, practice it, enjoy it, and next week I'm going to rehash something that I did before that is similar to this and similar to something else that I think you guys will enjoy. Thanks again for watching the video. Check out noone.shop and I'll see you guys. Peace. I'm a scrub but you still love me, you love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub but you still love me, you love me. I'm a scrub but you still love me, you love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm